I took my troubles down to Madame Rue You know that gypsy with the old tattoo She's got a pad down on 34th and line Selling a little bottle of love potion number nine Today we're all about fall Basically a whiskey sour With a little bit of St. George spice bear Pear, tobacco, a pear, spice, mold wine And then I'm going to put a pear the cocktail is called Daughter of the Devil. The basis of it is a Peloton de la Muerta Mezcal, French vermouth infused with cherry, grand poppy liqueur, agave nectar that we cooked with pomegranate liqueur, and lemon verbena. So what we have here is a pomegranate ice cube. As it melts, it's going to contribute to developing the flavors. Every single sip is going to be better than the last. Yeah. It's called chimney sweeper. Got a couple of secret ingredients in there. Activated charcoal, Golden State vodka, gentian amaro, fernet, which is another amaro, orgia, lemon juice, orange bitters, which has nice flavors of vanilla, cardamom, tangerine. The idea is for it to taste completely different than it looks and it smells. It's kind of a five cents for cocktail. Place. It was a tough choice. We gave it to Portia. Gave me a wink. Said I'm gonna mix it up right here in the sink. It smelled like turpentine and looked like Indian ink. I just wanna say thank you for everybody that came out. And thanks so much for supporting us. I call my drink when worlds collide because you have a little bit of Caribbean rum, American whiskey, and sherry from Spain. Cold pressed pineapple juice as well as ginger syrup that we make in-house. The rum brings a little bit of like floral notes to the cocktail, the rye whiskey adds a little spice, and the sherry just brings all that depth and complexity. And then we just liven it up with a little bit of fresh pineapple because who doesn't like pineapple? I held my nose, I closed my eyes, I took a drink, I didn't know if it was day or night. One of my favorite things is the classic penicillin cocktail. Scotch, ginger, lemon, honey. I had a flavor of apricot in there. Citrus tea, as well as a shochu. A Japanese distillate that allows the whiskey to be not overbearing. Instead of honey, I did a substitute of uh, Chenin Blanc. When you reduce this down with a little saffron, you get these tropical flavor notes, minerality, and the floral notes, same way you get from fresh honey. My goal was a familiar cocktail that they just would be like, whoa. You how to make Too Faced. I use a tequila that I infuse myself with jalapeno and cucumber. We also have our lime juice, cranberry bitters, pineapple juice, and our agave syrup. Pro tip, garnish your glass before you make the cocktail. Next, we wanna have that two sides of that salt as well as the tahini. Ow, that nice foam from the pineapple juice. And there you have it. Here's how we